Hello guys, thanks for watching my video today. Let's see <coughs> the Riemann zeta function evaluated at zero. Okay, let's talk about this one. The what does this mean is that the Riemann zeta function evaluated at zero. The Riemann zeta function at zero is what. This is what we are going to find here today. So, so let's see the definition, okay, first. So the Riemann zeta function is nothing but sum from n equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n to the s, where real part of s is greater than 1, okay? Because at s equal to 1, this is a divergent series, okay? So, That's why the real part of S must be greater than 1. Okay, so let's see at zeta of 0. So, zeta of 0 is sum from n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the 0. Okay, this is any number to the power 0 is just 1, right? So, this is nothing but sum from n equal to 1 to infinity of just let's say one so if you expand this summation then you get one plus one plus and so on right uh, so actually this is is a divergent series okay but when we deal with this zeta function so we have a particular value okay so this is what we are going to find so if we can visualize this Riemann zeta function, okay, that will be good. But okay, let's see. One is one plus one plus one plus. This is actually a divergent series, okay. Anyway, according um, but when we are dealing with zeta function, it have a value. So okay, now in order to get this zeta of zero. So, you can use that functional equation, okay? And some residue, residue theorem, and you can get there also. But I'm going to approach in another way, okay? So, okay, now let's see about this relation. Eta function is same as 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus s of zeta of s, right? So this is the relation between zeta and eta function, okay? So at 0, what will be 0? At s equal to 0, what will we get? Eta of 0 is 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus 0, zeta of 0, this is nothing but 1 minus 1 minus 0 is just 1, right? So it will be 2 zeta of 0 and 1 minus 2 is nothing but negative of zeta of 0. Right, so now here we can get that this one, right? So if we can, f now what we are trying to find is zeta of 0, right? This one. So if we can find out eta of 0, then if we substitute here, then it will be already there, right? So, I think eta of 0 is already, I have already evaluated, alright? So anyway, let's do it here again. Now, one is eta function. So eta function is nothing but alternate of this zeta function, okay? And minus 1 upon, and to the, yes, okay? This is the alternate one. So, at 0, at eta of 0, this will be sum from 1 equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n minus 1 upon n to the 0, right? So, which is sum from 1 equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n minus 1. So, if you expand this sum, you get 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus and so on. And this series is what we call the Grandi series, okay? 
you can tell this Grandi series also. So in order to solve this, it out of zero. So I'm going to subtract from one again. Okay? So meaning one minus it out of zero. This is one minus it out is this one, right? One minus one plus plus and so on. So if you expand this, if you open this bracket, minus one plus one minus one plus and so on. And this is again nothing but or eta of zero. So this is eta of zero. So if, sim if you solve this two, one minus eta of zero is eta of zero implies two times eta of zero is nothing but one, right? Therefore, eta of zero is half, okay? So we find out that eta of zero is half. Now, Substitute here, okay. Therefore, eta of zero is equal to negative times zeta of zero implies one half is equal to negative times zeta of zero. Therefore, if you multiply both sides by ne negative, then you get zeta of zero is negative half, okay. So this is the value for the Riemann zeta function evaluated at zero. Okay, so this and this is eta function evaluated at zero. Okay, so this is the simple way again okay, to approach this.